Hello everybody and welcome to the PvP Season 25 wrap up video. Today's background music is brought to you by the SNES Mega Mix. Reliving your childhood one 16-bit tune at a time. So, PvP Season 25 is over. Was able to stream the last hour of it, so I have my highest rank ever at 2013. This beats my previous record of 1850 something. So down the stretch, let's take a look at what my, uh, two, whoops, didn't mean to, meant to click the arrow here. Okay, well, go away. So I think I last saw it at 1982. Yeah, I last saw it at 1982. Now, excuse me, the 1969. This is where I went to bed. That 1969, this was my last day, and it still scrolls, like, this was a lot, but I was only, uh, negative 20. It was pretty good, so, I actually, when did I take these two attacks? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I took these two attacks, like, uh, about noon or so. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I did these around maybe 12, 1 o'clock. And this is all that I took down the stretch. So it seems like most of my stuff was uh, very, very early in the morning. Um, really didn't fight a whole lot in the very, very end. But uh, within maybe, let's say, the last 8 hours of PvP was when the most of it was, but the last four hours, I really didn't take a lot. So right up until the last five minutes, I was sitting here at 1998, and I said, well, do I want to take this last fight to get above 2,000? I have everything to lose if I lose, so I, I got lucky. It was a very easy team, and I killed him. So, coming soon. God, I hope not. Like, played on seriously, like, screw you if you do it. So, this is the highest rank I've ever had, but look at the difference between the PvPs over here. So, this is rank 1454 for a 2013 rating. Meanwhile, I had a 1930 rating. I mean, this is... Look at the difference. That, that shows you how badly people have fallen off of PvP. These numbers tell you something that you have to read uh, into it. I thought my highest was uh, 18. I guess it was 1930. So, look at this. 1930 gets me a 3,000 rank. But here, just about 100 points more gets me less than half that. I mean, that's ridiculous. That means either not a lot of people are playing, or... There's just so many people squashed in between those 100 points. But, um, yeah, the last two seasons were about the high 1700s or so. And I, my threshold was about 1775. And then my defensive team, which a lot of people have been asking about, just did huge, huge amounts of uh, wins and down the final stretch. So, Friday morning, I switched to Emma and Kurt, a tactician agent, and I went plus 52 when I woke up. And then, right around dinner time, they were taking a bunch of defenses, they were plus 57. But then the next day, they lost negative 50, they balanced out. So, Friday, they were really good, but by Saturday, they were kind of just pulling even. So the Hoogan's Eye, the Lantern, the Scroll of Rudimaroth, the Free Action Magnetic Field Dynamo, the Lunacy. The Lunacy and the Scroll are here to help Emma. The Lunacy says nothing is subtle, so that means Emma will be able to detect anything coming her way. The Scroll says, yeah, my, my debuffs, they're going to hit you and they're going to stay until you get rid of my agent. The Lantern provides me with a Mystic level effect in round 1, and then after that, it's a quick action because of being snappy tactical. So, hopefully round 1 goes like this. Shield, Scroll, and Lunacy. And then round 2, Lantern, and Lunacy. 
and basically just bounces back and forth between these two until the scroll is up again. The big key is at least getting this in the first round, and then after that, this, the lunacy will be stacking every single round. So their stamina will be at issue because they cannot clear my debuffs, and then eventually nothing's going to be stealthy or catastrophic. On Emma, I'm running her as an infiltrator with the covert ISO, which allows her to pre-fire the psychic tap once she has gained her combat reflexes. This is a douche move. I will fully admit it. But, you know, learn from what you hate and adapt it and make it your own. I hate having to walk around Phoenix 5 infiltrator Emma Frost with the pre-fire ISO when a scroll is out. It shuts my abilities down on my agent because I cannot use the scroll of Ruta Maroth I cannot use the weather control device. I have to grace note people who aren't Emma. Spider tits can't hose her down with webbing. She has to pop her stealthy until the lunacy takes care of that. So, the lunacy and the scroll are a very, very vicious combination with Phoenix 5 Emma Frost. Not so vicious that I can't lose, as it was proven, but it's pretty strong. I'm running the controlling ISO over here. Knocking over here, yes this does a stun, but it's not a 100% stun, and end cap stays on you. I am running the manifested augmented ISO 8. If I had another blessing ISO, I would put it here, but I only have the one and Hafe has it. And uh, for the manning augmented ISO 8, I'm running the weakness to psychic attacks over here. So if she does do this instead of this, it's still going to be fine. If she hits somebody with this, uh, there's an increased chance of a stun. There's her ISOs. There is the Covert Empowered ISO 8. Now, why I have teamed Emma up with Kurth is that Kurth doesn't necessarily need the scroll to survive. All her, her debuffs are sealed in anyway. All of these runes are sealed, but on Stonebreaker, I equipped her with the Dazing Augmented ISO 8 that says that her level 1 exploits stun, end cap counts for this, and exploits delirium. It's the mind control on Emma, and that's how this works. I'm not running the lockouts on these because I don't feel it's necessary. Hopefully better debuff ISO show up, but um... She is running my Elite ISO, which means that her counters are unstoppable. So if you provoke Kurth and she counters, she's going to hit you. And she's going to likely hit you with Stonebreaker if, of course, you've popped her with Melee, which means she will explode the runes and she will exploit Emma's debuffs. Uh, eat, or she's just going to Road to Ruin, which will go ahead and put another rune on you and biofeedback so could i run her as a scrapper yes however then i lose the elite empowered iso 8 and this also does protect her about melee this isn't just about offense this helps make sure that her melee attacks will heal her and buff uh her damage up my agent of course is running snappy tactics I'm not running the Elite ISO over here because I want to ensure that these quick actions go off. I learned from watching my defensive team fight Kingfisher that the best laid plans go to waste. My agent, under a similar setup, except this was the Mystic and this was not the Lunacy. This was the weather. It was the Mystic, the Scroll, the Weather Control Device, and uh, the Grace Note. I kept mysticking Kingfisher's agent. I never used a quick action. I had two quick actions to use. I never used them. I just mystic him twice. And it resulted in a loss that could have been a win or a much closer battle had my agent done what he was supposed to do. So, on my offense, all season, Grace Note Venom Launcher satellite support to prevent, to prevent against Black as Void confusion, weather control device, the scroll. The rewards, of course, are locked out. We cannot see them anymore. But if we go over to Battle Reports, we can look at them this way. 
we have the, uh, you know, the 10 gold, the 100k silver. We have the Roaring Rampage. We have the Energizing Empowered ISO 8. And we have Foxy Cleopatra. So now I was kind of stupid. And I made my team take all the training bays up on the last day of PvP. Which is stupid. So unfortunately my Foxy Cleopatra is stuck at 1. Not two, which is where I like to do the videos. And uh, I cannot show you her level two. What I will do is I will bring the shotgun in over here. So I was running with Carolina, which is why I have all these uh, electricity-based items over here. Let's see where they're going to bury the Roaring Rampage. You can't do the, uh, the search because it's full screen. So we're going to have to find it the old-fashioned way here. I don't understand how they decide what the order is. I, I really don't. I mean, it's not alphabetical. It's not always by order of when you got it, although it is roughly. I think I'm gonna have to do type ahead. I, I haven't I haven't seen it yet, so hold on, let's let's do it this way. There it is. Alright, let's give it a shot. So yeah, I always like to do videos on new heroes, at least at level 2. But, I kind of screwed myself on that. Uh... Why did the Mark for Revenge show up on my agent that first time? What was that? Okay, it went over to the power armor, but it showed over me. That's, that's strange. So, uh, Thane is in here because on my last, uh, my stream that I did today, I ran the blaster sim with Misty Knight and I brought Thane with me because he's one of the blasters that is not experience capped at the moment. Oh, I meant to, sh I wanted to shield Misty. Train to unlock, yeah, I know. So, I haven't seen her actually do a follow up yet. out of the way. So, here we go. Brutal Strike, Customized, Deadly Crits, Wild Shots, Kicks Like a Mule, Attacks Against Targets with Mark for Revenge, Guaranteed to Hit Crit, Ignore Most Evasion. Uh, she's marked. Ah, that's, that's pretty strong. I don't know that that's worth a kicks like a mule, but that's that's pretty good. I would say if my agent ran counter items like he is right now, uh, it'll be worth it because he won't totally be incapacitated. Oh god! Oh hey! Ah damn it! Oh, that sucked. And that sucked too! It really sucks when somebody dodges Thane's level 1. Well, Sin's out of the way.
So I think it's probably better than a little boomer. And if we uh, continue to get damage like that out of that shotgun, uh, I think it would be not too bad. I mean, not something you ever necessarily want to run in PvP, but if you decided to run Fox and Cleopatra over here on offense, it, it could certainly be a good gun to run with her. I do not think this Hydra Vanguard is marked. So let's... Oh, it is. Alright, let's see how much we do here. Wow, okay, that got better than the first time. So the gun is not that bad. Uh, but you probably only want to run with it if you are running against Mr. Knight. Otherwise, I don't think it would do a whole lot of damage. Let's see if we just can get into a single fight with her. And uh, see if we can see a little bit more on what she does and what it takes for her to do a follow-up. I haven't seen the follow-up yet, and she's gone through a sim battle, and now this will be her second simulator. So in three battles, I haven't seen it. So again, still haven't seen it, and I've seen her do at least six level ones by now. Six or seven. That's funny, we're using Lightning Strike against Fake Thor. That's pretty good. That was that was weak. So my agent's definitely been doing a lot of work, but Misty Knight. Not so much. Still no follow-up. We'll see if this takes him out. Alright, weaker than the last two, but that was a white hit, not a critical. So, I, I would say that uh, I would give the gun uh, a 4 out of 10 if you're not running Misty Knight. If you are running Misty and your team, I would give it about a 7.5. Misty, I can't really rank yet. But I could say that her chance of the follow-up right now is a 2 out of 10. Is how I would rank that. She is just really awful about it. 60% chance. No. I, I don't see that as 60. 60% 60 is Pesty's chance to give you Nano Plague on his level 1. That to me feels like fucking 80%. This feels like it's 20. So... Uh, I, I probably am approaching about 10 level 1 so far and just hasn't gone off yet. So, well there is the PvP wrap up. I hope I answered the questions about my defensive team and how they were doing down the stretch. We got to look at Modern Misty Knight, uh, the new gun. Who is going to be the best people for the, the Tactician ISO? Well... Not the agent if you have the newest suit, because obviously the suit does it for you. But, uh, I think Storm would be solid, because if you gave her snappy service, she can actually use her uh, protective shroud as a quick action. But, this Storm can only use one ISO. And, as a stock, she's a blaster, so Storm's not really a particularly good candidate for it iron patriot yes very good candidate for iron patriot because then that means uh you can do full overcharge and 21 gun salute no matter what although combo breaker will hurt this pesty is the absolute best right now in pvp give that to him because his own iso suck uh he doesn't need snappy service uh definite Good, very, very good candidate for this. Psylocke, no. Magneto, yes. Because Magneto can run his personal ISO. Uh, and this. To make sure there's momentary advantage if he's 15 doesn't fail. Or you run snappy service unexhaustible. And he will always be able to cast his shield as a quick action when it is up. 
Black Knight wouldn't be too bad because he would be able to do atonement as a quick action if combined with snappy service. Whatever he wants. But Black Knight supposedly was fixed the Friday before PvP ended. Although on PvP Monday end, people said he was still broken. Moonstone wouldn't be too bad with it. Star-Lord, not really. I think Pesty and Red Hulk are the best. Uh, for Red Hulk, if you didn't use Boom, Shock, Boom Shakalaka, you gave him Snappy Service and the Unexhaustible. That could be really, really bad because that would mean he would bulwark every single turn that he was available to. So, if he was 15... You could run him with the ISO that says he doesn't get stunned after his meltdown. And you can run that. Basically, whatever he activates his tactical bonus, uh, you can ensure that he does two actions and he's never stunned. So every other round, you can definitely be sure he's, he's probably going to bulwark. So there's a few good candidates for it. And of course, the agent, if you only have older tactical suits. So hope you guys enjoyed the wrap up. Pray to friggin' God that Playdom does not give us another one this week. The rumors are swirling. We're only going to get a few days off. I really, really, really hope that is not the case. Wait till at least after Thanksgiving. Like, give us to December. Wait for December to be on the calendar before another one. And just, like, chill out. You know. But anyway, so that's, that's the wrap-up over there. I hope everybody got what they wanted. Uh... Very, very good ISO for certain characters. The gun, not so much. But as I was telling somebody on the last day, if you miss out on Adamantium, that's not too bad. You could always get the hero a month later. But, missing out on the Diamond and the Vibranium rewards are really, really bad. Because who knows when you'll ever see them again. The hero is a guarantee. The other two aren't. So, always, always try to get your Vibranium and you're diving. Just keep those words in mind. So, take care everybody. Have a good one.